all animals. Ooh, that escalated quickly. Hundreds of sheep plunged to their death in the Pyrenees on the French-Spanish border after being chased by one naughty brown bear. After the native Pyrenean brown bears were wiped out by hunters, the French government began to repopulate the species in 1996 with brown bears brought in from Slovenia. A descendant of one of these brown bears became the furry predator that launched an attack on one member of a flock of sheep, which scared the fleas off of some 200 others, causing all of them to hurtle over a 650-foot-high cliff and, um, die. 169 sheep were discovered in a Spanish village, while some more were found on the French side of the border. Bear fur was discovered on one of the sheep's bodies, strong evidence that a bear most likely prompted the mass accidental suicide. This comes almost exactly a year after more than 130 other sheep died in similar fashion. Although the French government will reimburse the farmer for his loss, the incident has upset farmers on both sides of the border who blame the bears for the attacks. A local branch of the French Farmers Federation is upset as well, as sheep breeders have protested the presence of bears and wolves in the past, which they say threaten their livestock. Currently, there's about 35 brown bears that exist in the Pyrenees. Although protected in the region, a bear was found with a gunshot wound to the chest in northern Spain last year. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Bears are dangerous, so, um, you want to keep your distance. Bear breaks into man's home and chases him around. A Facebook video posted by Rodney Ginn shows how he was chased around by a bear inside his own house. Oh God! Oh my God! Yeah, that's how we'd react too. California resident Ginn arrived home from work one Friday evening to encounter an unexpected guest in his kitchen. A freaking bear. And not just a bear, a bear and two cubs. At which point Ginn runs upstairs, only to be chased by Mama Bear, who probably thought he'd make a nice dinner. Ginn reportedly locked himself inside a room inside his house for an hour until the mama bear and her two adorable cubs left. It's okay. It's okay. We just snuck in our house early in the morning. Here comes mom. I know. Does a bear crap in the woods? Uh, nope. A household in Wyoming got the shock of their lives after a bear wandered into their home and left a nasty little surprise. Max Brighter was having a nice Saturday afternoon nap when his dog suddenly started yapping from another room and wouldn't stop. He went to get the canine but was instead greeted by a giant furry brown bear staring him down from the kitchen. Brighter locked himself in a nearby bathroom and frantically called everyone else in the house who yelled and screamed as they barricaded themselves in their rooms. The noise made the bear feel uncomfortable, and it soon broke out of a window and scurried off, but not before depositing two giant turds on the living room floor. Hmm, <clears throat> lovely. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department say they're not gonna go after old crappy, unless of course he turns out to be a serial home pooper. Alaskan teen mauled by bear running down mountain. A 16-year-old running in an annual race near Anchorage, Alaska, suffered a gruesome death at the hands of a bear that he could not outrun. On June 18th, while participating in a local three-mile race, Patrick Cooper was making his way down the side of a mountain trail when he was spotted by an unfriendly foe. Around 12.30, having veered slightly off the path, Patrick soon realized someone was on his tail, but it wasn't a fellow runner. It was an angry bear. Panicked and alone, running as fast as he could, the boy quickly texted his mother to let her know he was in trouble. Black bears can run up to 30 miles per hour, and traveling downhill, poor Patrick didn't stand a chance. The teen's body was found a mile away from the trailhead, where he was pronounced dead. The search for the bear is ongoing. Patrick's untimely death is one of two fatal bear attacks reported in Alaska since Sunday. On June 19th, two contractors were ambushed by a bear at an exploration site in Fairbanks, one of whom was killed. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Drunk dude sticks his arm into a bear cage and gets attacked. 
A North Dakota man is lucky to be in one piece after surviving a close encounter with a bear. Police say buddies David Shepard and Cody Cage were boozed up when they entered Roosevelt Park Zoo in Minot around midnight on Saturday. After illegally entering the zoo, Shepard reportedly made his way to the bear exhibit. And then Shepard decided to stick his arm into the bear enclosure and gestured one to come over. What could he have possibly been thinking? Because what happened next must have been unbearably painful. Not only did said beast come over, it attacked Shepard and chomped him. He's recovering in hospital and will be charged with criminal trespass when released. Meanwhile, zoo staff say they're worried about the bears and want to make sure they're eating right. Hmm, wonder why?